Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia 2.4 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. And to get started, let's pull down the notification panel and find the toggle, which for me is right over here. Now once you find it, what you want to do is hold the toggle. This will take us to the settings where you can quickly customize how you know, the disturb mode works. So let's start off with calls. So there we go. And here we have allow calls from anyone, contacts, favorites, or no one. So choose whichever one you want. I'm going to go with no one. And then once you pick it, you will still have the second option right here, uh, allow repeated callers, which basically allows someone to call you and completely bypass the option right here, assuming they call you twice within a 15 minute period. Now, if you want this, then keep it on. If you don't want this, then disable it. But this is a really good option in terms of emergencies. Usually when someone has an emergency, they will call you multiple times within a quick succession and this option will basically allow them to reach you. Otherwise, you would be completely unaware that someone is trying to contact you. Now, moving back, we have messages. So allow messages from, again, anyone, contacts, favorites, and no one, the same as calls. So pick whichever one you want. Then going back here, we have also exceptions for just basically media sounds, touch sounds, reminders, all kinds of uh, interruptions in terms of sounds. So choose however you want those. And going back, we also have restrict notifications, so you can choose what kind of notifications will show up or not. Uh, default duration, and this will basically allow you to set how, uh, whenever you tap on the toggle, how it appears. So uh, we have until you turn it off. So this is the default one. Uh, basically, when you tap on it, on the toggle in here, it will be turned on, and then you will have to turn it off manually yourself once you're done with it. Then we have uh, for a specific amount of time, so one hour. Uh, if you choose this option, I, by default it's gonna be one hour, but you can tap additional hours, so for instance four. The moment you tap on OK, and you pull down the notification, and you turn it on, it will then turn on at this moment for four hours, and that will be all the time like this. But the best option, in my opinion, is the ask every time, which will basically bring up this window every time you tap on this. So you have until turn off or uh, time, which you can actually change. So you can add hours, which will also, whenever I turn it on right now, let's assume it ended and then I tap on it again. As you can see, it starts again from one hour. So you can change the, the amount of time that will be turned on next time around. And then also uh, we have the, uh, this one, uh, the schedule below that, which allows you to basically set up a schedule. So do not disturb mode turns on and off automatically without you needing to do actually anything. So all you would do is set up the start time, end time, and each uh, day of the week that you want it to function. And that's about it. The moment you check it on like so, it will turn on every single time that you have provided it uh, with. And from there, you wouldn't need to actually turn it on or off. It would just basically be on the autopilot, which is probably the best option here. But anyway, whichever option you chose, it is completely up to you. Uh, but if you want to en enable it manually, all you need to do is just tap on the toggle like so and turn it on and voila, it's now enabled, which you can see by this little icon right over here. And once you're done, you can either wait for it to turn off depending how it's set or simply toggle it off yourself. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.